This is Twit. It would be difficult to find a better example of the need to continue supporting long past its prime website code than is evidenced by the fact that Microsoft continues, believe it or not, to need to offer the option to reload very old web pages under its creaky old IE mode. It's true. And I, in fact, this email went out yesterday afternoon and I have already heard from one of our listeners who said he just the other day encountered an instance where some government websites would not run under edge and he had to switch to IE mode and then the page rendered. So they're still out there. Um, what's also true, unfortunately, is that IE's old Chakra JavaScript interpreter contains known exploitable flaws that bad guys want access to. We're talking about this ancient history today because it's apparently less ancient than we might hope. IE mode is still being exploited to the point that Microsoft's most recent iteration of Edge has removed all of the easy-to-click buttons from the browser's UI. An unknown threat actor has been tricking Microsoft Edge users into enabling Internet Explorer mode in Edge to run their malicious code in the user's browser in order to take over their machine. These mysterious attacks have been co have been conducted since at least August of this year, according to the Microsoft Edge security team. IE's legacy mode, or IE mode, is a separate website execution environment within Edge. It works by reloading a web page, but running the reloaded page and its code inside the old Internet Explorer engines. And as we know, Microsoft included IE mode in Edge when it's when it retired its official IE predecessor, and I guess we had we had like uh, IE eleven, I think, was the last uh, version of IE, but there was still some code that was dependent upon it. So to access a site under IE mode previously, users would have to press a button or a menu option to reload the page from Edge into the old IE execution environment. Microsoft has said that it has received credible reports that hackers were using clones of legitimate websites to instruct users to reload the clone pages <laughs> in Edge's IE mode. IE mode. <laughs> oh, God. Yep. Yep. And when why would happened, they do that, Steve? Why? Well, <laughs> when that happened, the malicious site would execute an exploit chaining <sighs> an exploit chain targeting IE mode's creaky old Chakra <laughs> JavaScript engine oh, that has bugs that have never been patched. The exploit chain contained a Chakra zero day that allowed them to run malicious code and a second exploit that allowed them to elevate privileges and take over the entire user platform. <laughs> oh, now, that's I actually know. pretty ingenious, though. It is. I mean, if you think about Again, it. Again, if, if there's a way... These yep, guys will do it. So in response, Microsoft did not assign a CVE nor release a patch. Instead, they overhauled the entire IE mode access. The edge security team has completely removed all the dedicated buttons uh, and menu items that could once easily refresh and relaunch a website under IE mode. This includes the dedicated toolbar button, the context menu option, and under the hamburger main menu item. From this point on, anyone wishing, needing actually, to relaunch a website in IE mode will first have to go into the browser's settings and specifically enable the normally disabled feature there. They'll then need to relaunch the browser, you know, shut it down completely, relaunch their browser, and manually add the URL of a website into an allow list of sites permitted 
to be reloaded in IE mode. So, I mean, they you really have to need it that way. But it does sound like for those people, for example, who who are using a government site that is old and creaky and only runs under IE mode, well, you can still do it. You just have, you know, you have to go in and you turn it on, then, then you relaunch the browser, then, then you manually put that government URL into the allow list, and then you'll be able to access it. So it sure sounds as though Microsoft is none too happy that their old Internet Explorer code is still coming back to bite them. So they decided <laughs> that while they still cannot safely just kill it off once and for all, at least they can make it really much more difficult to use and thus to abuse. So that's good. Hey, I hope you enjoyed these little highlights from our shows. We do a bunch of them and they're all available on the web at twit.tv or right here on YouTube. You can even watch most of them live on YouTube. I'll tell you what, you'll see a link below. And if you would like, and I would like it, I can subscribe. Thanks so much for watching. Security now.